Ça marche. <rire> ok, c'est cool. Merci. Ciao François. And good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. Speaking with my friend François, who has the studio right across the hall from me. Anyways, I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. I know that I had a well, so-so weekend, but I'm not going to get into it. It could have been a lot better, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. So anyways, my friends, we are, uh, I was hoping so badly to finish this painting on Friday and uh, start a brand new painting today. Unfortunately, Thursday, Friday, I had so many complications uh, happening in my private life that I couldn't couldn't come to the studio, couldn't get to work, couldn't finish this painting. But anyways, that's all uh, last week's problem. So today, let's just go over to the computer. Let's check out quickly what we did on last Wednesday, and we'll tackle our day from there. So let's refresh our memories. What did we do last Friday? <clears throat> oh yes, well, we did the outline to our, our two uh, main uh, circles. Right? One that has my uh, nuclear guy and one holding the hourglass. And then we did a lines on the inside, on the outside of our frame. And that is basically what we did last uh, Wednesday. So what are we going to do today? Well, today I'm going to draw an inside and outside line in a light uh, cerulean blue on the inside of my frames. And then we're going to, uh, I'm going to put some little stars on the background of this guy. And then I am going to add the first coat of uh, little stars going here. I'm going to do them in white that eventually I will paint over them tomorrow in yellow. And, uh, and then eventually we are going to, uh, I think add some sperms. That is kind of what I had in mind. I think it'll look very nice when it's all done. So that said, I have to first of all draw the lines that I'm going to be painting over. So I'm going to do that right now. It's going to just take a few seconds. So just make a little mark here with my pencil. I can barely see these marks as well. Something like that, I guess. It's true, not easy to see. There you go. I'm just having these like what? Three sixteenths of an inch, not even. But it just makes it so much easier to draw and paint a straight line. So I'm gonna do that like this and like this. And same on the inside. So there. And maybe one right here as well. that and the same thing on this side and we'll do the same thing over here as well And now on the inside. Mm -hmm. 
And I guess I'll need my chair to do the rest. So let me just check out the computer, make sure I turn my microphone on and that everything is working. And it seems to be okay. There we go. It's, I've been making a habit now of taking a few seconds off a few minutes into the stream to make sure I didn't do any screw ups because sometimes I just forget to, you know, people talking to me or things going on and I just forget to uh, sometimes just to record or to even do the live stream. So like for an hour and a half, I'm talking and talking, thinking I'm live. And in fact, I totally forgot to turn on the it's happened once in like three years, I must say, not very often, but it's kind of annoying when it does happen. Okay, so that is done. Let me get my blue cerulean together. Like I said, I'm gonna make it a, like a, a light baby blue to kind of stay in the same uh, frame of mind of the rest of the painting. So, a little bit of blue. A little bit of white. I mean, listening to a lot of music from the West Indies lately. Music from Trinidad, Tobago, from the islands, the old Calypso. It's been a, just wonderful music. The music is awesome. And then the, the lyrics, the lyrics are always very uh, political or very sarcastic when they talk about personal lives and love affairs and just a just a blast very funny and uh, very subtle though also in the humor and uh, and a lot of the songs are very political as well great music to go with it so anyways let me mix my cerulean blue with my uh, white paint and maybe i'll just go over to camera number one we can do this together so let me bring the camera over a little bit closer. And we'll bring this down. I'm going to get a, my jar of water. There we go. So let's just blend all this in. I'm not doing my Instagram live feed like I did last week. I don't know. I'm just I'm not. Uh, not really in the mood of doing too much, uh, too complicated, working with three cameras, four cameras when I do the Instagram feed. And, uh, and I'm also having a so-so day after a so-so weekend. So I'm mean, going to do all four cameras, juggle things around, kind of have to be in an upbeat mood. So, do I have enough paint? This is the kind of baby blue I like. It's going to darken as it dries, so I'm not too worried about it. Let me just blend this. I see there's a little bit of white paint left. I want this to be nice and homogenous. And still a lot of white not mixed in quite. With the blue, maybe I'll just add a little bit of the blue too, since I'm lightening everything up. And I'm going to add more water to it. There we go. I don't have to worry too much with cerulean blue because it covers very well. It stays very opaque when you draw or paint with it. So I can go ahead and add water not, without worrying that I'm thinning this out and that you'll see right through it. 
so there we go now what is this is this it looks like the right consistency maybe a little bit thick maybe not I'll, I'll try this so let me go back to camera number two here as I look for my paintbrush which isn't very complicated I always use the same one for this task and I have it right here just wet it down and dry it out there we go and I'll get camera number one set up because I'm going to start like I always do with this upper left hand corner up here and I just work my way around just like that so let me move this off to the side so I'm not standing in front of it there we go how's that look so there we go that seems pretty good I guess now I can let me just wet my brush a little bit here okay so this looks pretty good I'll switch over to camera number one and let's get to work So that pencil line was just kind of like a guide. So I don't really have to follow it completely. And who knows, maybe I don't even need to draw these pencil lines, but whatever. And I'll come down this way. Okay, so let me get my face out of the way. There you go. There we go, very good. So let's just continue with the top lines. There we go. There we go. And here we'll go down the left hand side first. Like that, I'm sure I'm not putting my hand in the paint. So let me move this over. And just for really editing my movie, I am going to zoom in a little bit. There we 
go. Now I can zoom out again and bring the camera down. Actually, I can even bring it down more like that. I don't have to. Yeah, the more I think about it, I don't think I have to draw these pencil lines anymore. I'm really not even following them at all, so. I guess it's a reflex from the days where I didn't believe in myself or didn't trust in myself, I guess. All right, so I'll get the rest when I bring my chair over. So let's just bounce back over to this side. There we go. So where are we? We're up here somewhere. So there we go. I always think this part is going to take really long. And in fact, it goes by quite quickly, so. I'm just drawing straight lines, not that complicated. Look at that, very nice. At this point, it's easier to go bottoms up. All right, <clears throat> so let's bring this baby down. Now I'll grab my chair as well. Here too, it's easier to go from the bottom up. Rather than go from top to bottom.
Very good. Now, let's work our way from left to right, starting with the topper edge. There we go. All right, very good. Okay, let me just move my chair over just a whisker here. And the camera can follow as well when I get... There we go. There we go. Maybe I'll do a little zoom in just for the the final stretch here. See if I can't use that when I edit my movie, maybe. Et voilà. Very good. So, got that done. So I got my clean shirt. I washed all my clothes this weekend. 
This is my summer work shirt where I punched a little hole right in the middle so I could stick the wire to my microphone and hide it so it doesn't get caught on anything. Not really for aesthetic reasons, but basically because it's I assume fragile technology and I'm just trying to protect it as much as possible. So that said, let us get to the next phase of our painting which is little stars I would like to put right in the background, little black stars. And that will just take a few seconds. So I got my black paint right here. Just gonna grab a little dab of the paint right there. And I guess I can use the brush I was using earlier just to add a little bit of water so the paint flows better. Actually, I put a lot of water there. Way too much. No big deal, just add more black paint. And I'm not even going to be using like a peanut's worth of paint. I would say a half a peanut. <laughs> That's how little I'm going to need. So, that. Now, what paint brush am I going to use? I need the one that's fairly small. And this looks like the right one. Just wet the hairs a little bit. There we go. And for that, I'll grab my chair as well. And I'll switch over to uh, camera number one. And let's add our little stars. Just like that, just tiny little. Twinkle, twinkle. Just like that. Teensy wincy little stars.
back for a second. Very good. As soon as the paint dries, it will be more uh, matte, and therefore a little bit more discreet. There we go. So, Okay, so now I'm going to do my stars in white so that tomorrow we can put our first coat of color on top of them. And I'm going to be using the same brush that I used on the cerulean blue. So do I need to wash this at the sink? I guess it'll be okay. So what do I need? White, my white paint. Let me... go protect the black paint and grab the white paint and I'm not going to need very much of this also and I guess I can use the cap of my jar of white paint as a palette. Why not? There we go. I am going to have to dilute this. It's awfully thick. And that's no big deal. I have this one song stuck in my head called Tobago Girls. And it's driving me crazy. So I need a brush to, I guess this one will do the trick, just to add a little bit of water to the white paint. Tobago Girls by the Mighty Sparrow from Trinidad and Tobago. So I don't want to add too much water on this white paint because I want it to be as opaque as possible. So you don't see too much of the purple underneath it. So that when we add the yellow, the yellow will stick out and be nice and vibrant. There we go. I'm going to use a golden yellow, not the lemon yellow I was using here, which I never use actually. Like most of these colors I never used before. So that will be all new stuff. And we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I have my paint ready, got my brush ready. I guess all I need to do now is get the camera ready. So come back up here, or maybe over here, and then I'll just zoom in. To make sure I'm not in front of the lens. Something like that. And I'm going to just make sure I get all the excess water off my brush. There we go. I don't want this really dripping or anything. So, this looks like pretty good. So let me just switch cameras, I guess. That would be helpful. There we go.
So where's the middle of this? We can just eyeball it, right? when we add the yellow there'll probably be two coats of yellow so we can fix everything that doesn't look right as we go along and where's the middle of this baby right about here I would guess does it really matter I don't think we're a few go and let's just zoom on to the other side and we'll do the same thing right about there I guess right Very good. And we are going to do the same thing way on the bottom, right over here. Grab my little chair. right here I guess and the last little star in this corner and then we're probably done for the day There we go. So, So I'm debating if I should do something to these rings and I might have to add something to that because to me it looks a little empty. I don't like the way it looks, but let's work on the frame first. Tomorrow we'll add the first coat of our sperms, first coat of our yellow paint, 
and then we'll decide at that moment uh, what to do with this. But anyways, in the meantime, that wraps it up for us today. Let me just come over here and uh, let me get camera over here so we can have an overview. I like finishing my editing jobs by showing the entire painting from both cameras, so we'll do that. Right, so there's, there's the view from camera number two, and that's the view from camera number one. And there we have it. So, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed today's session. I hope you'll join me tomorrow as we continue and get close to the end of this painting. Anyways. I want to wish you all a wonderful day. I'm going to leave you like I always do with two things. The first one is my schedule. And the second one is by saying, ciao mes amis.